subscribe to pi pro tricks for python and competitive programming and boost up station for technical videos so today we are going to find a unique number where all of the numbers occur twice except one number which occurs only once and if you generalize it you can say that all of the numbers occur even number of times except one number which occurs odd number of times and we are going to use xor bitwise operator for this so let us know how the xor bit operator works let me quickly make the truth table of it so here the input is a then this is b and this is the output y so for same values when these a and b are same the answer is zero okay and for different values of a and b when they are not same the answer is one and you need to remember one property of xor operator that is any number XOR with zero is the number itself, right? And in this problem, we are going to do the XOR of all numbers in the list. So let us quickly create a function of it. Then I will be explaining you f unique number, and inside it we will be passing a list named x. Answer is equal to zero. Then for num in x the list, we are going to do the XOR of answer with the number inside list that is num and at last we are going to return the answer we are going to use these three lists one by one which will give us a negative number inside the list which is unique zero which is unique and a positive number which is unique okay let us run this code to see that we have the unique numbers i will explain you right now so we are going to do the XOR of all these numbers like this, okay? XOR of all of the numbers. This will give us the unique number. So you can see that zero is occurring twice. So its XOR will be zero. Now you can see one is also occurring twice. XOR will be zero. Now if you go for nine, you can see nine is occurring twice. XOR will be zero again. And minus two, you can check here, XOR will be zero. And this 11 also, XOR will be zero. Now we are only left with this negative number minus one. So this is the answer you can see right here. Okay. Now let us move to the second list. XOR of all these numbers. Now we are only left with this zero. Now let us move to the third list and do the XOR of all numbers. So we are only left with nine. So nine is the answer because these XORs will be zero and XOR of all zeros with nine will give us the nine as answer. As you can see here, we have the property. Any number XOR with zero is the number itself. The time complexity of this algorithm is big O of n. n is the number of elements and the space complexity is big O of one because we are not using any space for storing all of the elements of the list, right? So please subscribe to PyProTrix and Boost Up Station. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more.